Top 20 Looker Interview Questions Question 1. What is the primary purpose of Looker? A. Creating reports and dashboards from data. B. Running ETL processes. C. Building machine learning models. D. Storing data in the cloud. The correct answer is A. Creating reports and dashboards from data. Looker is used to explore and analyze data through reports and dashboards. Question 2. Which programming language is Looker's modeling layer based on? A. SQL. B. Python. C. JavaScript. D. LookML. The correct answer is D. LookML. LookML is Looker's modeling language used for defining dimensions, measures, and views. Question 3. What is a look in Looker? A. A report with a predefined query. B. A type of database view. C. A saved set of data filters. D. A calculated measure. The correct answer is A. A report with a predefined query. A look is a saved query or report that can be shared or used repeatedly. Question 4. What is a dashboard in Looker? A. A collection of reports and visualizations. B. A saved SQL query. C. A source for data storage. D. A setting for user permissions. The correct answer is A. A collection of reports and visualizations. Dashboards in Looker are collections of visualizations and reports that provide insights. Question 5. What is the function of a Looker Explorer? A. To query a single data source. B. To build complex machine learning models. C. To explore and query data interactively. D. To visualize data through graphs. The correct answer is C. To explore and query data interactively. Explores allow users to interactively query and analyze data in Looker. Question 6. Which Looker feature allows the creation of reusable metrics? A. Models. B. Dimensions. C. Measures. D. Explores. The correct answer is C. Measures. Measures are reusable metrics defined in LookML, such as sum, count, and averages. Question 7. Which of the following is a valid LookML file type? A. Model. B. View. C. SQL. D. Database. The correct answer is A. Model. A model file in LookML defines the relationships between views and tables. Question 8. How can a Looker dashboard be shared? A. By emailing a link. B. By embedding it in a website. C. By exporting it as a PDF. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Dashboards can be shared via email, embedding, or exporting in various formats. Question 9. What is the Looker Marketplace? A. A place to sell Look ML models. B. A repository for reusable Looker blocks. C. A cloud storage service. D. A marketplace for cloud data storage. The correct answer is B. A repository for reusable Looker blocks. Looker Marketplace is where users can find and use pre built Looker blocks. Question 10. What does the Looker, Explore, feature allow? A. Data analysis in a guided environment. B. Search and filter data models. C. Build custom Look ML models. D. Create dashboards from scratch. The correct answer is A. Data analysis in a guided environment. Explores allow users to interact with data to create visualizations and reports. Question 11. Which of the following is used to define data relationships in LookML? A. Join statements. 
b. Filter clauses. c. View files. d. Model files. The correct answer is a. Join statements. Join statements in LookML define how tables relate to each other in a model. Question 12. How can Looker handle user permissions? A. Role-based access control RBAC. B. By using API keys. C. By creating user-specific dashboards. D. By limiting SQL query access. The correct answer is A. Role-based access control RBAC. Looker uses RBAC to control access to different features and data based on roles. Question 13. Which file in LookML defines dimensions and measures? A. Model file. B. View file. C. SQL file. D. Explore file. The correct answer is B. View file. View files in LookML define the dimensions, measures, and the structure of data. Question 14. Which of the following is a Looker feature for scheduling reports? A. Looker alerts. B. Looker schedules. C. Looker data actions. D. Looker connections. The correct answer is B. Looker schedules. Looker schedules enable automatic email distribution of reports and dashboards at defined intervals. Question 15. Which type of data is typically visualized in Looker? A. Large datasets with high complexity. B. Small datasets from a local machine. C. JSON data only. D. Data stored in CSV format. The correct answer is A. Large datasets with high complexity. Looker handles large datasets and makes it easy to visualize complex data structures. Question 16. What is the default visualization format in Looker? A. Table. B. Bar chart. C. Line chart. D. Pie chart. The correct answer is A. Table. By default, Looker visualizes data in tabular format unless specified otherwise. Question 17. Which of the following is a Looker API feature? A. Data export automation. B. Model creation automation. C. User permissions management. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. The Looker API supports automating various tasks such as data export and user management. Question 18. What is a Looker field? A. A specific data column from a table. B. A data filter option. C. A specific Looker dashboard. D. A pre-built report template. The correct answer is A. A specific data column from a table. In Looker, a field refers to a data column within a view or explore. Question 19. What is a Looker block? A. A Looker API tool. B. A pre-built set of Looker resources. C. A type of visualization. D. A LookML configuration file. The correct answer is B. A pre-built set of Looker resources. Looker blocks are reusable and customizable components like dashboards and visualizations. Question 20. What is the purpose of Looker's SQL runner? A. To execute SQL queries directly. B. To visualize SQL queries. C. To schedule SQL jobs. D. To modify SQL code in LookML files. The correct answer is A to execute SQL queries directly. SQL Runner allows users to run custom SQL queries directly in Looker.